It is hot. I think I got sunburnt <laughs> just driving in my car yesterday. Uh, <laughs> safe to say summer's here, right? Absolutely right. The uh, dog days of summer and it truly feels like the uh, summer weather pattern has returned to South Texas in a big way. It's been actually below seasonal average as far as high temperatures are concerned because of all the rainfall we had and we're still hovering right at around uh, 13 and a half inches above normal for this time of year. You can believe it or not. That is absolutely spectacular. We almost had the entire yearly amount of rainfall and just about half the year. So keep that in mind and we're not done with rainfall just yet, at least not completely. It's going to be a dry week, but not completely. We're at 76 degrees with the light south southeasterly wind at six miles an hour. That humidity is here. It is healthy and not going anywhere anytime soon. A just typical summer like pattern for us here with the dew points all into the uh, middle 70s. That is oppressively humid even for South Texas standards. And again, it is uh, resulting in a few spots of some of that fog into the inland areas of the coastal bend, improving by about eight o'clock, but still hovering right at about two to four miles from many of our inland communities. Of course, it'll go away as we head throughout the day for today, but then as we head into tomorrow morning, we will look at another round of some dense patchy fog with visibility down below a mile from many locations for tomorrow. So keep that in mind if you have those travel plans early. For the most part, we've replaced low pressure, which has brought us all the rainfall chances with high pressure. That is now into the central part of the state of Texas. That'll promote a lot of sinking air across the area. That means we're going to have a whole lot more sunshine. The haze that we had over the weekend with that Saharan dust is going to be improving as we head towards uh, tomorrow and off towards the end of the week and you can see it in place right now and then it'll start to go away as we go on into Tuesday Wednesday but there's still a whole nother plume out here that's uh, arriving in the Gulf of Mexico by Wednesday going on into Thursday and a lot of that's going to be moving in our general direction as we head into the weekend so yes even though the weekend not going to be too bad the winds will be picking up the Saharan dust is going to be with us once again for almost the third weekend in a row hour by hour forecast to help you plan your day on out again. We'll start off the day with a couple of clouds across the region by 11 o'clock already at 88 degrees noontime 90. We'll be heading into the middle 90s with lots of afternoon sunshine and only a south southeasterly wind at about 6 to 12 miles an hour. That means we'll go to an afternoon high of about 95 here in Corpus Christi, 97 in Robstown and hitting those triple digits for our friends over in the Duval County, off into Freer, into portions of uh, Benavides as well and uh, near San Diego. Of course, to add in all that humidity, heat indices will be around 105 to 110 folks. Uh, this is once again pretty much near the uh, dangerous levels. Be sure to drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. And if you are going to be working outdoors for a prolonged period of time, uh, be sure to uh, seek the air conditioned spots frequently. Marine forecast cast is not looking bad. The bays will be smooth. Seas one to two feet. The rip current risk is low. Don't forget that you can head over to ChrisTV.com slash beach conditions to get all the latest there and the winds over the next several days not going to be bad at all. Picking up a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but overall lots of sunshine for us here into the afternoon and we'll repeat the process with only a few stray showers, coastal showers I should say as we head towards Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday highs in the middle 90s and heat indices around 105 to 110 all week. Jeff.